Wonder Reef is what they've called the world's first buoyant reef. Just off the shore of the Gold Coast, Australia, are nine gigantic underwater sculptures that form this unique man-made reef. You can hear the whales, and when you're underwater, you can hear them. It was so amazing. Towering 22 meters above the sea floor, each buoyant reef is anchored by almost one ton of chain connected to a 72-ton foundation reef. The reef moves with the energy of the ocean like a giant kelp forest. And today, we'll be diving down to explore this world first. Good morning, beautiful people. We have come to Gold Coast Dive Adventures. We're so excited to do this dive because we've never done a dive like this before. This is gonna be such a unique dive. Max and I have done quite a lot of dives in the past, but they've always been on actual reefs or like got to go and see something that's natural or you know to dive with certain animals and things like that. But this is gonna be the first ever man-made structure, apart from like a ship dive, a wreck dive. So it's gonna be cool. Gonna get set up yeah. and then get in the water. Yeah. We just had our dive briefing for the two dives that we're going to be doing. So our first dive is going to be at the Wonder Reef, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully visibility will be cleared. And then we have our second dive, which is actually going to be at a shipwreck called the Scottish Prince. We're just heading now to the boat and it's only a 15 minute boat ride, so let's go. So the boat that they have here at Gold Coast Dive Adventures is actually an ex-police boat. So apparently it goes pretty fast and we should be out at the reef in just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Bring on the good time. <laughs> First up ahead there you can see that we have two mooring poles. Underneath those mooring poles is where we find those floating structures that Seb was telling you about. So the top of the structures sit at 10 meters, the bottom of them sit at 16, and then there's a very long chain that goes down to the 30 meter mark where there's a pyramid. The moment we started our descent, the familiar, peaceful sound of the underwater world took over. But this time, it was even more special, as we could hear the songs of the nearby migrating humpback whales. It was impressive to witness the innovation of this dive site's artificial reefs. As we descended to 30 meters following the one-ton chain, we discovered the reef's anchors. The structures, although quite eerie in the low visibility, serve as vital sanctuaries for the marine life found in this area. The amount of coral growth and marine life that has spawned on these incredible structures in just three years is honestly impressive. time we've ever been offered a cup of warm soup after a dive which just kind of shows you how cold it actually gets in the water. We've been, they're very good, we've got very thick wetsuits but it doesn't really matter how thick your wetsuits are when you're in cold water you still just get cold. So this is perfect. Very unique dive. Like we've done a lot of very cool dives but this was more like, had more of a meaning kind of thing. Mm -hmm. like, I had a purpose to be there. See, like humans for that once were doing something for the nature. <laughs> for once. <laughs> the one time. <laughs> 
So it'll be really interesting to see the contrast between this one and the next dive site that we go to that's been there for over a hundred years. We are heading to our next dive site, the uh, Scottish Prince, I think it is, shipwreck. And we just passed a whale on the way there. So even though it's cold diving this time of the year, you get to see whales. So you lose some, you gain some. They hit some bad weather and they turned in towards the seaway which used to be here and they ran aground. So the ship still lies here today in this 12 meters of water, 60 meters long, so nice and uh, relaxed eyes, not too big, so we go really nice and slow on it. So we're super close to the shore on this dive. That's the beach right there. And the craziest thing is, is that I have been to that beach so many times and I had no idea that there was a wreck just like 200 meters out from the like shoreline, it's crazy. You've surfed here before, did you know you were surfing above a wreck? Ready, three, two, one. Although most of the sunken ship has collapsed after 140 years underwater, we were still able to see the man-made forms covered in organic growth. This site, just a hundred or so meters from the beach, was full of life that swimmers so close have no idea about. And it reminded us of how small we are when we explore the world's oceans. Most of the life here was bait fish that blocked our view of the wreck throughout most of our dive. But it also seemed to be a resting ground for wobbegong sharks, a small bottom dwelling shark that should not be provoked. After all, they are sharks. Fishes, millions of fishes. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The sun is coming out to warm us up after our second dive. Such a different dive to the first one. Like really shallow, so a lot more visibility, but still kind of murky. So many fish, like just thousands. Thousands and thousands of bait fish around, which was really, really cool. And the whole big old chat. So cute. just like that we're done. That was a quick but great way to spend the morning and early afternoon hanging out with the guys. Yeah. Great great little team here. Yeah. We didn't have the best visibility today. Seb, the owner, was saying that when visibility is good it's absolutely amazing and he also recommended a whole bunch of other dive sites that we should definitely check out here on the Gold Coast. So maybe we'll pop the ones that he most recommended in the description and we'll also put a link to Gold Coast Dive Adventures because if you want to dive the Wandery they're the ones you have to go with. I mean it's the only one in the world so yeah. and they are the only one that actually go there so exactly. you have no choice. Yeah so definitely highly recommend the team were awesome had so much fun today and thank you so much for watching as well. Next week we are still in a very cool location but above the water. Yeah. Just stay tuned. Mostly, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.